welcome. It's a hot July day here in Kansas. Yes, it's hot because it's July and it's summer. Earlier today, did some work in the shop. So I'd like to invite you to join me in the shop now. We are going to straighten out all those windmill blades that we took apart yesterday. To uh, straighten out a windmill blade is they have a curve so that they better catch the wind. And my mom got me a slip roll 19 years ago as I was driving out to seminary. So here it is. She ordered this from Grizzly and my dad made the stand. Rather than try to hit all the dents out with a hammer, which will leave divots, we're going to run it through kind of like, kind of like the old fashioned ringer washer. So first we go through lengthwise and then here and start cranking. All right, now that's taken a few of the major dents out, but we're gonna run it through again, now the other direction. That's a little better. Now I'm gonna roll it backwards. That's the opposite direction that it's supposed to go. The blade remembers the original factory curve, so I'm trying to make it forget for the purpose of getting all of the little dents out. See, it's better, but it's stubborn. You are stubborn, aren't you? But most of the dents, the major dents, are now out of it. It feels smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and try rolling it the correct way. These little minor bends like this are way more difficult to get out than the major ones. There's a sermon in that. Ah, here. Now that sounded better. You can hear it. It goes whoop. Okay, now we're getting there. Still a little problem. That's the original factory curve, and here's what we've been wrestling with. Pretty close. Pretty, very, very. Let's see what this one's like to straighten. actually took less time to fix the one that was really badly bent than it did that one that was barely bent at all. Here's another one with a minor bend. Let's see how we do. This is, this hasn't been rolled. When the wheel was all together, it looked like every single blade was gonna to need to be straightened out. But a lot of them are like this. Once we release them from these outer bands, they straightened up on their own. So it wasn't the blade that was bent, it was the outer band that was a bad influence. There's another lesson in there. Some of these blades have bullet holes in it. And I want to completely exonerate Dave Overdick, he did not do this, but maybe his dad did or his grandpa, because sometimes little boys, little boys who never grow up and they turn into men who still need to stop doing this, they use windmills as target practice. 
And while I do not condone this, it does give it some interesting battle scars. Some guys, some windmillers, will pound the holes shut and paint over them. Why would you do that? It's interesting, this is part of its history. We all have scars and it's silly to try to cover them up. Now this one needs to be rolled, but I don't want to lose these bullet holes. So I'm going to close them, roll the blade, and then reopen them with a pin punch. This costs less than a Peloton bike. You know? And there are two restored bullet holes. That was easy. Finished. Metal doesn't like to change any more than you or I. In fact, all kinds of change are painful, even good change. So today's prayer is a prayer in times of transition and change. And this prayer was just uploaded today by Cherise Rampersad. I did one of her prayers back in May, and uh, once again, it is timely. So let's pray this prayer together. Mighty everlasting God, Everything is changing around me. Oh God, my life, my circumstances, and even the world. But oh Lord my God, help me to not fear this change. Rather, may I embrace it as I embrace you daily. Give me strength to rise above every situation and overcome the darkness. As we read in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Temptations and storms and struggles are thrown at me constantly as I have decided to seek you and become so close and wrapped up in your holy presence. Grant me joy where there is sadness. Bless me with faith where there is no hope. Shower me with light in the midst of the darkness, but most of all, give me peace within the chaos. These changes in my life baffle me at times, my God. Let me be still and remember who is the author, Lord. Lord, you mold it all together for my benefit, and therefore I trust that things will work out according to your will and plan for my life. For in the end, I will be able to say, thank you, Jesus, for bringing me thus far. I now understand why I had to go through this, and to you I am eternally grateful. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen and amen. Thank you for joining me for this prayer. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.